Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 33rd Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to create a view for our to-do app. Alright, so so far we have created this app.js file and we've run our express app. We've also created this to-do controller where we've exported this function and inside that function we have these request handlers. Okay, so there's nothing in these yet but we're going to fill them up as we go along. Now in this tutorial I just want to focus on this one right here and in here I want to render a view when we get a get request for forward slash to do so when a user visits that URL in a browser. So we know already that we're using EJS for our template engine. We set that there and when we did that Node.js and Express know to look inside the views folder for any templates that we render. So let's go ahead and create that folder. So we're going to right click at the top and go to new folder call this views and then inside there, I'm going to create a new view, and this is going to be called todo.ejs. So this is going to be the view for this URL right here. Okay, so first of all, HTML tags, and then we want a head tag. Inside that, we're going to do a title first of all, and that title is going to be todo list. Now, underneath that, what I want to do is link up to jQuery, because we're going to use jQuery later on when we start using Ajax requests. So... I've already copied that to my clipboard, I'm just going to paste it in. But what you want to do is just search Google for the jQuery CDN and find whichever version of jQuery you want to use. I'm using this one, 1.12.3.min, okay? So then paste that in there. Then I want to link up to this style sheet right here to make it look a little pretty. So I'm going to say link href and I'm just going to use this URL here. So it's the forward slash assets, forward slash styles forward slash assets, forward slash styles, dot CSS. And this is going to work because of this middleware, oops, that we set up right here, express.static. So whenever we type a URL like that and make a request, then it's going to fire this middleware and it's going to look for that file in the public folder. It's going to find it, forward slash assets, forward slash styles. Okay, so that's rel equals starsheet. And type is equal to text forward slash CSS. All right, cool. So that will do for the head for now. Now we just want to create a body tag. And inside the body, I'm going to create a div tag with an ID equal to to do hyphen table. And all of our to do items are going to go in this table, but also we need a form. And this form is for when a user wants to add a new item to the to do list. So we're going to need an input where they can type what they want to add to the list and then a button which they click when they want to add that item to the list. So let's do an input first of all, type equal to text and we'll call this name equals item because it's just an item on the to-do list and we'll give it a placeholder text equal to add new item dot 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 and we're going to make this required. Okay, cool. Now we need a button, which the user clicks, and we'll say add item, and value, not value, type, sorry, equals submit. All right, so when a user types into this input field and clicks add item, then it's going to add that to the list, and we're going to hook all this up later on. Okay, so what else do we need? We, uh, we need an unordered list, with list items inside and each one of these list items is going to contain an item on the to-do list. Now we're going to populate this dynamically later on when we have data from a database or something but for now let's just put some dummy items in so we'll say item one then let's copy this dude a couple of times and call that item two and item three okay let's save that that's pretty much done for our view for now at least and then we want to render it in this get handler right here and we know how to do that we can just use the response object and say response.render and then we just need the view name which is to do okay cool so let's save that now and run it by saying nodemon app now i've got nodemon globally installed which is why i can do this um, if you've not installed this you can just use npm install nodemon to do so otherwise you can just say node app.js and that's going to run it as well all right, so now it's running on port 3000. So I'm going to localhost 3000 forward slash to do, which is this URL right here. And hopefully I should get this view back. Cool. 
So now we see those three items, we've got our input field and our button. And this is all looking okay. I think we just have one thing slightly wrong with the CSS because we should have an image at the top there. So let's have a look for where that image is being loaded in. And it is here. Okay, so yeah, it's looking for forward slash logo. When in fact, it needs to be forward slash assets, forward slash logo. So let's save that and refresh. Let's just restart the server and refresh over here. And we should see, no, we still don't see that logo. And that is because actually we've not got that H1 inside the view. So I'm gonna just pop that right above the to-do table. So I'll say H1 and we'll just say um, my to-do list. Okay, so let's save that now. Restart the server again and a refresh over here. And now we get that little logo at the top, cool. Okay, so this is our application so far. Nothing actually works yet when we click on one of these. Nothing happens and uh, nothing will happen when we add an item. But in the future, we are going to hook this up in uh, the next few tutorials or so. So until then, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.